Okay, AP Calculus AB, evaluating the definite integral of a trigonometric function. And I just want to kind of go through, this is a really quick example, I think, but I just want to caution you on a couple of things, so I guess let's get started. First thing I want to do here, because this is already in really simple form, is I want to go ahead and integrate. So we're going to integrate. Hopefully you have all your integration formulas memorized. It's one of those things you can't kind of be looking for that or trying to figure that out while you're taking an exam. It's just not going to work for you, so you have to have that memorized. So if we do that, if we integrate this, right, this x here, right, right, the integration formula for sine of x is opposite cosine x, isn't it? So we have that integrated. Now we're going to claim to, you know, use the <laughs> fundamental theorem of calculus. So we're going to evaluate this from 0 to pi right here we have to be really really careful so what we're going to do here is this we're going to take f of pi minus f of zero and f of pi would be pi minus cosine pi right minus minus this minus is this one f of 0, so that would be, that would be 0 minus cosine of 0, right? And doesn't that look like this? And I'm going to just fill in the blanks here. I have pi and cosine of pi, right? We're on the unit circle here, right? So we're over here on the unit circle. And cosine of pi, this this negative sign here is formulaic, but cosine of pi is negative 1. So that's this negative 1 right here, or if you'd rather, I'll say that this negative 1, right? That this negative 1 right here is cosine of pi, so that's this negative 1 right here, right? Minus 0 minus cosine of 0, well, cosine of 0 is... 1, isn't it? So kind of cosine of 0 is 1. So let's look at that now. So we're going to do this. We're going to get pi plus 1. So pi plus 1. I'm going to distribute this negative sign to here and here. That gives us plus 1. So is 2 plus pi is this area we're looking for. All right. So please be really, really careful that when you're taking, when you're using trigonometric functions, Remember, you're probably on the unit circle, and those, uh, and you want cosine of this theta value, and so make sure you're going back to that unit circle. It's going to really pay off for you. Okay, good work.